Welcome to the Allen Institute for Brain Science technical tour. This video will demonstrate how you can use the differential search tool to find gene markers for specific regions of the brain and visualize this gene expression in three-dimensional space. While I'll be demonstrating the differential search from the Allen Mouse Brain Atlas, we also have this feature in the Allen Developing Mouse Brain Atlas and the Allen Human Brain Atlas. First, go to our website at www.brain-map.org and click on the Mouse Brain tab in the banner. Make sure the Differential Search radio button is selected. We're going to start building a mouse brain from the hippocampus out. In the target structure box, I've typed dentate gyrus, which will pull up genes that show high expression in this region when contrasted with the rest of the brain. For this demonstration, I will be choosing only genes that were assayed in the coronal plane. I can view in thumbnail form the pattern of gene expression by clicking on the gene name, and I can view a gene in Brain Explorer by clicking on this link. In Brain Explorer, what we now see is the gene expression for the gene we chose, CRLF1, in three dimensions. We can add the reference atlas dentate gyrus by clicking the A column next to the dentate gyrus in the ontology list of the Brain Explorer. We can also make the structure transparent by clicking transparent from the atlas drop-down menu and see the original data by clicking on one of the voxels. We are now going to add the other regions of the hippocampal formation in the same manner. By selecting CA3 as the target structure in the differential search, I have a list of genes to choose from using the three-dimensional thumbnail, and once I've chosen one, I can again go back into Brain Explorer to see both genes displayed together. CYP7B1 shows a similar expression pattern to CRLF1, but in a region adjacent to the dentate gyrus. Now I've chosen Amigo2 as a specific CA2 marker because it shows brilliant expression in field CA2, as shown here. But like a lot of genes, it also is expressed in other regions of the brain, such as the accessory olfactory bulb, the lateral habenula, the hypothalamic lateral zone, as well as the superior colliculus. GPR-161 is a great marker for area CA1, and with that gene, we found markers for most of the hippocampal formation. Now this particular gene, TCF7L2, shows a very high specific expression in the inferior colliculus and in the thalamus. Adora 2A is a magnificent marker for the striatum. DDC or dopamine decarboxylase is a marker for specific nuclei in the midbrain. GPR3 shows expression in the hypothalamus. And Clotho brilliantly singles out the choroid plexus in the ventricles. GLRA1 is a specific marker for regions of the hindbrain. The gene FAM107B 
is specific to a layer of cells throughout the cerebellum. And NDST1 PPFIB P1 and DOC2G are genes that show specific expression in the olfactory areas. DACT T2 is specific for layers 1 through 3 of the cortex. And MYL4 is specific for layers 5 and 6 of the isocortex. This particular grouping of genes demonstrates the major structures of the brain. As you can clearly see when you make the reference atlas transparent, or remove the structures altogether. Thank you for watching this video on some of the advanced search and visualization features of the Allen Brain Atlas resources. For more information or to start to explore these resources yourself, please go to www.brain-map.org.